Woo! Welcome back to the channel guys. Thanks once again for tuning in. I just wanted to do a little bit of a different kind of layout for my video today. What do you guys think? It's just like sleek, clean. Anyway, I just wanted to say that this uh, video will be sponsored by Frankie. If you guys haven't seen Frankie and their brand, I, I'll leave links to them down below. But they're basically clothing brand, streetwear brand that's on the come up. Please have a follow of their actual channel and Instagram. Have a look at their kind of videos. I actually did a video for one of them before and it was pretty sick. It turned out pretty good. Here's a little bit of a like a, a snippet. If you guys liked it, please leave a like and uh, you know show your support. You know, uh, it's actually my cousin AJ. He's trying to start up his own brand. He's you know he's working very hard. He's a very talented dude. So I ask you know you know please show some support, show some love for his uh, Instagram because you know we're all we all gotta start somewhere. So I just want to start off this video, guys, by saying thank you once again. Thank you for all the love and support that I've been getting. I have been you know like my channel's grown. A lot more than I, I thought it would be. Yeah, you know, I'm just appreciative for all of you guys. So thanks once again for actually watching my content. If you guys want certain content that you guys want on the channel, please let me know. Just direct message me, guys. I'm a friendly dude, and I love to kind of you know, interact with my actual followers and my audience. So yeah. Anyway, let's get back to this video. So it's leading up to MX Day. I'm doing, I don't know when this video is actually going to go out, but hopefully it comes around about MX Day. So MX Day is actually here in Australia, is March 25. There's been so many um, kind of releases for this MX Day. I don't know if you guys saw it, it's uh, the Air Max series, the uh, Air Force series, and they're all kind of just all in conjunction sort of with um, MX Day. I will be at actually attending the, in Melbourne city, they, it, it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's like kind of like a vertical laneway where it all kind of just describes about uh, Air Max Day, its heritage. That should be really exciting. I'll be going to that. It's gonna be really cool. So I just wanted to get some pickups for that actual day. I didn't want to go there and then just have my old kind of duds and old kicks. You know, I know it, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. Of course, if you wanna, if you got your old old pickups or your old grails. They've got from ages ago, especially with Air Max, because it's been here for like ages and ages and ages, right? That's okay, you can still wear those, but I just wanted to have something a little bit different because I've only, I only have one real favorite Air Max shoe, which is this. Ta -da! These are my all-time favorite Air Maxes. These are the infrareds, Air Max 90s, mainly to do with the colorway. Like that's what made me first fall in love with it ages and ages ago I actually got this pair off eBay and they've lasted so long these are classic these are timeless you can't go wrong with picking up a pair of Air Maxes like these in this colorway because this will always come back you know this is a really popular color you know it, it is actually my favorite color so, uh, I've always enjoyed wearing these but I, I wanted to wear something a little bit different this coming Air Max day so let's get back to it I just wanted to also have I know it's, it's, I don't know if you guys saw from the weather, it's really, really bad here in Melbourne. It's like raining. But anyway, I got some pickups as well. I decided to get one of these um, jackets here, these half zip, because these, because of this. I just, I just really like this jacket because, I don't know, it's, it's, it's such a cool, you know, kind of flashy jacket. Well, it's not really flashy in a way, but, um, it's just, I thought it was dope because of the, the whole swoosh, the, the branding there. The Nike check tick is huge. It's on the back as well. This was a pickup from actual uh, Foot Locker. Because this bit, this wide kind of uh, ribbing elastic bit that goes around your waist, I reckon it would have been better with a drawstring because it is really, really kind of loose. And but I think that's the aesthetic to it because it's supposed to be a little bit baggy. It's got, you know, it's supposed to be that really big kind of oversized look. But you know, I don't mind it. And I and the main the main reason I got it is because of the big swoosh. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but Drake and DJ Khaled was wearing it. I thought that was pretty dope too. That kind of actually uh, like with me and pickups with uh, jackets like this. This jacket was 140 uh, Australian dollars. When you use your Foot Locker discount, it goes down to 122. It's pretty dope, man. Anyway, let's move on. Alright, the next pickup that I actually got 
is another jacket and the reason why I'm getting these jackets is because I'm preparing for the actual uh, winter time here in Melbourne now I got, and I decided to get this one this is a bomber jacket that uh, Nike has uh, released and the cool thing about this one is it's actually reversible so this is the actual one side this is the actual feature side where it's got the um, it's got the Nike uh, you know, detailing there and it's got a little bit of pocket and it's got the you know the Alpha Industries kind of style um, zip pocket on the left hand side so on the other side it doesn't have anything but you can actually reverse this jacket which is actually why I bought it because it's actually a two-in-one jacket and you know when you're traveling these are like one of the jackets to actually get because it's two in one guys so it basically saves your luggage uh, space and it also looks you know it gives you actually two outfits this one was going for 160 um, I reckon those are pretty good and pretty fair price especially for Nike because it's two jackets into one and that actually goes down to 144 if I'm not mistaken I can't remember don't quote me on that because I got it from Foot Locker as well so with a 10% discount it actually goes down so 144 for two directors is pretty good especially with Nike so just a little tip for you guys if you guys want to go and uh, travel around and you want to have like more space but more outfits as well get yeah, get the reversible jackets it's it's, it's a no-brainer all right guys so here is the next pickup that we got this one isn't actually for me it was for my wife Raquel and she decided to get some of the silver bullets the Air Max silver bullets I don't remember how she how much she got it for but it was around hundred and seventy dollars if I'm not mistaken she got these from JD Sports um, because these were, these were everywhere but the problem was her size she's a three and a half a three and a half wide and that's really small for like an adult <laughs> like if you don't know Raquel's like she's very very uh, vertically challenged uh, I love you still her heart makes up for her height so it's okay <laughs> she decided to get one of these and uh, I actually really admire her. this one's got like this is another classic shoe that you that a lot of people should have shout out to JD Sports for having my missus size and uh, watch out for my missus wearing these I'll probably take a few photos post them up on my Instagram as well with her wearing them that should be dope so we have come to the final pickup the reason why we are doing this actual video and it's for the Air Max 270 all right let's get into it so I got these from Foot Locker for two, the, the retail price is 220 10% discount goes to 197 if I'm not mistaken. So first of all, great detailing from the box alone. What I really liked about it because it's got all the different, I don't know if you guys can see. You guys can see that. All the different kind of, um, what do you call it? Um, the Air Max units that they've been using in the past. So this one's got the big Air 270. Air yeah, Max 270 uh, kind of logo at the front. Uh, it's pretty dope. It goes all the way around. I don't know if you guys can see it. So here's the actual sneakers. Da -da -da -da. Smells so good. Oh, I love a fresh unboxing. Mm. So here's the sneakers, guys. These shoes here, they'll be kind of paying homage to all the kind of different Air Max units and Air Max kind of uh, branding that Nike did in the past. So yeah, props for Nike for kind of, uh, you know, bringing back the past and putting it to the present. So this colorway is called the Dusty Cactus colorway. This isn't the first time this colorway has been featured on a sneaker. It's been featured on the Air Max 97, if I'm not mistaken. Here's a picture of it. And um, yeah, the, so it's got the same kind of uh, kind of colored paneling that they have here because you know there's only su subtle hints of the actual light blue going into the uh, sneaker as you can see here here on the tag on the f on the inside foot area as well so it's like the color is just only subtle so it does dominate the actual shoe which is what I really like and just the fact that it's black and white usually matches it anything so this shoe can go with a lot of different outfits it doesn't even need to have the actual blue in it because yeah I don't know I just find that that's why I really like this sneaker once this came out I was just like oh man I'm gonna get those so I was really excited I actually didn't get to cop this the first time first round 
um, I had to wait for the kind of re-release that they had, the restock. And coming towards Air Max today, I really, really wanted it. Look how big the actual um, air unit is. It's massive. It's, I've, I've, I've read it, I actually haven't measured it, but I've read in so many kind of different vlogs and d different sneaker kind of uh, articles that it actually goes up to 32 centimeters. No, sorry, it's 32 millimeters. Well, 32 mil centimeters goes at 32 millimeters high. That's pretty thick, and that's a lot of cushioning for your actual heel. So there's actually a really big, like, kind of heel to toe drop. If you're a short dude, these are shoes to get because you actually, you know, it probably gives you that much more height compared to what you normally get. People should love you for who you are and not your height. Anyway, this is a dope shoe. So they've got the Air Max unit at the back. They've got the actual Phylon foam at the forefoot. I actually learned that from um, Nightwing's uh, sneaker vlog that he did for these because he's a really good uh, YouTuber. I love him. If you guys don't follow him, follow him. It's got the Phylon foam at the front for extra cushion. It's going to provide a pretty good ride for you the whole journey. I would like to say that it's got a really cool upper. It's just one piece, guys. So you can see that the actual tongue is actually incorporated with the actual upper itself i know a lot of people like their tongues separated and kind of not so much like kind of sewn together with the actual upper but you know in this sense i really really do like it it's such a snug fit but i would kind of say that guys try this shoe on first don't just um buy it online i suggest you kind of try it on first because i i initially bought this in a nine and a half because that's my original size in all nike uh all my jordans all my other nike sneakers i am a nine and a half but when i tried this one on i had to get a nine when i did try it on i tried it on with really thin socks and i normally wear my sneakers or my runners with thick socks maybe that was the difference that made it like that but anyway when i tried it on with thick socks when i got home these were perfect the hug is really really nice other youtubers are saying that you should go true to size you don't need to go the half size up not like the nike epic react where it is really tight in the middle on this side on this bit here but you get a really good hug with this shoe as well on the side in the actual top of the forefoot here so it's also got the uh fused paneling here at the bit because it's all mesh material around the actual upper but it's got the fused bit at the, f the front of the like where your toe is the toe box area and a little bit on the sides here i like that i like that kind of uh, technology where it's actually because it's so breathable because it's got all the venting holes here as well so it kind of keeps your foot from smelling because it's got that really good ventilation you know what i'm talking about so they these sizes also come for kids women's and men's so you know no one's missing out in getting these so i think i've been talking way too much about these shoes but i do love them these are actually really awesome on feet i will actually put them on feet now So I don't know if you guys saw that. I don't know if you guys enjoyed that on feet kind of cinematic that I did. If you guys do enjoy it, let me know. I'll be doing more of it in the future. 
Um, just so just a final note guys these are a dope pickup I really really do like them if you have the money these are around 220 retail these are so comfy also I just wanted to say that these are made for lifestyle they're not made so much for running you can go running or go working out in them that's your own choice but these are mainly made for lifestyle not so much running but all performance based these will perform for you in a lifestyle kind of sense but when it comes to running i probably suggest you choose a different kind of sneaker or if you go to work out if you're doing squats in these be careful because these got an air bubble and i'm pretty sure eventually if you're carrying like 300 kilos these will pop eventually just don't just be careful because that's one of the kind of um kind of uh, worries that i had when i first bought these sneakers was because of the actual air bubble unit it was so big it's so visible there's ser seriously when you look at this yeah that's all bubble that's all bubble and just like the kind of uh at a casing of the actual unit so and i've seen other people do where like durability tests on these and they lasted a really long time they they were putting like glass to it and everything like trying to cut it open almost by stepping on it not just like kind of popping it intentionally but they it, like it seemed really really durable that's why i actually picked up a pair so guys let me know what you guys think if you guys actually cop the sneaker or if you're thinking about getting it you know if you have any questions let me know uh because these are really dope pickup it matches a lot of outfits it's really comfortable it's really breathable as well. uh you know they're really comfortable i don't know what else to say guys it's like it's a dope and look at it they look sick right they look sick so i just want to say thanks guys for once again watching this video thanks for taking the time to actually watch my kind of content if you guys have any suggestions once again please let me know in the comments down below or just hit me up on my instagram on my facebook it's all linked down below as well um i hope to get more content for you guys in the future look out for my video coming soon because i will be going to the actual air max day event that they have going on here in melbourne anyway thanks once again guys for tuning into the channel i hope you guys see you soon please if you enjoyed this video please leave a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed guys please subscribe i will be doing more of these kind of videos in the future and i once again a big thank you and i hope to see you guys soon again peace